The Atlantic Ocean offers more energy, green energy, than many dozens of nuclear plants together. A combination of floating offshore wind parks and on-site green hydrogen production could accelerate the energy transition in Europe. It's important to know to make it happen. In Delft, where we interviewed Axel Vire, the Wind Energy Department is located in and around the building of aerospace engineering. We have to rely on floating offshore wind. What we need is developing this on a much bigger scale. So with uh, tons of, of turbines uh, across the world uh, delivering, delivering offshore wind uh, to the grid. And indeed, wind energy is getting off the ground. In fact, it's like a three-stage rocket. The first stage was the step from onshore wind energy to offshore. Yeah, I mean, offshore wind has, has increased significantly over the past decade. Um, I think in Europe we went from uh, something like 2 gigawatt to 22 gigawatts in just 10 years. So it's an, a factor more than 10 uh, in that period. So it's a huge increase in, in installed capacity. With offshore wind parks actually being profitable without subsidies. That was with the Dutch uh, wind farm, Hollandse Kust a few years ago, and that was really a breakthrough for, for the industry, for the market. The second stage has come into sight, because as a next step, we need to go into deeper seas and oceans. Plants worldwide for offshore wind alone are 1,000 gigawatt by 2050, so you can imagine that in the Netherlands there will be huge increase and huge use of the uh, North Sea with bottom-mounted foundations in the coming decade, but we need to do more. And more means floating. Indeed, indeed. Um, so, yeah, as much as we can develop floating turbines, uh, because bottom mounted in deep water is not economically feasible, we can uh, use floating turbines that are currently uh, being installed and, and operating at the moment. And there are also countries not very far away from here where actually offshore wind uh, can only be floating. If you think at France, for example, uh, they went directly from onshore to floating offshore. Uh, High Wing Scotland is an example of a small farm with five turbines currently operating and delivering capacity factors that are quite high, much higher perhaps than expected. And then the third stage arises as to how to bring these massive amounts of green energy onshore. Experts say there's one answer. With hydrogen. I, I think floating wind and uh, green hydrogen production go very well together. I think green hydrogen production has been identified as a game changer, so has floating offshore wind, and combining these two together enable to produce green and renewable energy in deeper water, again uh, opening markets that are really will make a change for the energy transition up to 2050 and beyond. So, on-site, offshore green hydrogen production can accelerate the energy transition and open new markets, a great horizon. Yeah, I, I'm convinced floating wind is a key enabler uh, in this case, and I think it is growing, it is growing very fast. I, I do see now uh, companies, universities, again investing a lot, of course governments as well, uh, they invest, uh, but uh, of course the public has to be aware that, that this is also happening, and this is really a, a very nice field to be in uh, at the moment. Man made it to the moon and to the deepest oceans. You'd better jump aboard. I think so. I think the Netherlands will miss a huge opportunity if companies, Dutch companies and Dutch universities are not on the boat right now. I think other countries will move on and, and the Netherlands will miss out on this huge opportunity. We do have a strong maritime industry, a strong maritime and, and wind energy knowledge in the Netherlands. So we should be there and we should be there now and fast. Thanks for watching uenergyforeurope.com.